Hey there, welcome to, or welcome back to No Pants Profits. My name is Richard, I'm coming to you from downtown Las Vegas, right near the Fremont Street Experience at a place called Gold Spike. Now I came across this kind of mistakenly on a layover, I was flying a really, really crappy airline, <coughs> spirit, <coughs> spirit, uh, and I came across this place and it's really quirky, it's really fun, and they have a happy hour from 4 a.m. Well, for, they have a happy hour from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. and 4 a.m. to 7 a.m. They've got a Zoltar, they've got all kinds of old machines and stuff like that. They have local beers for like three to four dollars during their happy hour, which is insane. And they even have some free to play games. You might come here and like when I was here the first time, I was like, okay, there's these giant clowns. Why are they here? And whenever there's a red button that's flashing, you must push it. Ah! Feed the clown. Feed the clown. Feed the clown. That's a really cool one. You can go feed the clown. They even have something that used to be in the uh, the Zappos headquarters. It's a light bright from uh, from Zappos, which is really kind of cool. <coughs> You'll see someone's made uh, something really cool here. And then, if you thought the inside was cool, <coughs> sorry, if you thought the inside was cool, the outside is even cooler. They've got a whole gnome garden. You might say, hey Rich, what the F is a gnome garden? They've got a gnome garden that's got all kinds of different gnomes in it. Not Christy gnome, but like, actual gnomes. Now here's the thing. The question is, there's no place like gnome, but do you wake the gnomes? See, we are in fabulous Las Vegas. We've got gnomes pretty much as far as the eyes can see, but there's a little button that says knock if you dare. So I'm going to try this with my beer and see what the gnomes do. <coughs> it's going to play copywritten music. You'll see there's a Trump gnome and a bunch of other gnomes lights up and plays the gnome music. What this is, honestly, this is like, I don't mean to disrespect this, but this was like the quirky place to go before Area 15 came about. There's no one here. It's also a Tuesday night right after the F1, but they have a line performance space. They have gigantic beer pong. I know. They have gigantic beer pong. They have a giant inflatable Santa. This is right by the Circa Hotel, right by downtown, uh, right by downtown Las Vegas. They have a gigantic, uh, what's that called? Um, not Connect Four. What are the colors? Oh, I can't tell you what this is called right now. <laughs> left hand, left hand blue, right hand green. If you know, put it in the comments. I said it a few minutes ago, but this uh, <laughs> three dollar beer is doing me and I don't have to gamble to get that $3 beer. I want to say Connect Four, but uh, it's not Connect Four. That's just really, really, really slipping me. Um, don't know what it is. They've got beer pong and gigantic garbage bins here at the Gold Spike. And they even have different vehicles that you can actually stay in. And yes, if you're an old person, they have shuffleboard for you. I think you could stay in that bus, or you can definitely stay, look at this. This is called the Sugar Shack. And you can stay in the Sugar Shack right here, which is a <coughs> unique place to actually stay in. I still wanna call that thing Connect Four. I, I don't know what the name is. Hey Siri, what's the name of the game that has right hand red? I'm not sure I understand. Siri's useless as normal. What's really cool is like there's this whole area, there's no one here. We just came from Area 15. Area 15 is hella, 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 hella expensive. Uh, and this place is actually so much cooler than Area 15, in my opinion. Um, and I really do, I, I genuinely do love it. It's quirky, it's unique, it's got cheap beer. I've still got 45 minutes left of cheap beer. But just look at all the, 
random quirkiness, arcade games from years ago, but I've saved the best thing for last. You might say, what is the best thing for last? They have a mystery vending machine. And if you watch my long video here before, I did this before, um, and I have to do it again. Mystery adult fun bag. Oh God, happy birthday. Mystery socks. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Uh, one night stand stuff. Ooh, ooh. Adult deluxe 90s. 90s time capsule. Ooh. <coughs> All right, let's go with the adult mystery fun bag. You can Apple Pay this. Give me a second. It's authorizing. A7. Well, we got an adult mystery fun bag. Hmm. Let's do one more. And a deluxe mystery fun bag. A1. Oh. Oh, we got $9 credit left. That's what it says. Insert money. A1. I need a dollar. I have credit. It's like extending me a line of credit, but it wants a dollar. Fortunately, I've got a dollar for tipping here. Huh. Wait. Doesn't actually have a place to put a dollar. It's cards only. So I have to end this. All right. So let's get the uh, deluxe mystery fun bag. Because there's nothing I love more than fun bags. And we'll see what's inside of them. Please select an item. All right. A one deluxe mystery fun bag. All right, so we've got two items. We've got the adult mystery fun bag and the deluxe mystery fun bag. And I ain't ever met a fun bag that I don't love. So let's see, <laughs> well, let's see what's in these fun bags. I got these last time I was here and uh, let's go with the non-adult one first. Let's go, this is the Deluxe Mystery Fun Bag. Let me take a picture of these real quick. It's a little ridiculous, and I'm here for it. Deluxe Mystery Fun Bag. I'm opening it. We don't know exactly what's gonna be in it. And that is part of the fun. We got a little spaceman with the parachute. We've got Oh God, a picture of some mountains. We've got a little plain notebook, a fortune telling fish. Uh, place fish in the palm of your hand and its movements will indicate moving head, jealousy, moving tail indifference, moving head and tail, curls up entirely passionate, what? I don't know what this is. I mean, it's saying it's a fortune telling fish. I'm not really sure what this is. <laughs> Let's see what else we got in the bag. Stuff about the magic box. It's a cat too. Cat tattoo, cat too. Got a lot of stuff in here. Oh, oh. ooh. We got an Etch-a-Sketch. I love some of the random stuff in here. A scrunchie. Oh my God. Look at those little pen things. Like that the doctors use. That's cool. Some love glasses. Some earrings. Let's see what else we got? Pocahontas trading cards. 
These could actually be worth something. Hold up. Let's see where these came from. <coughs> Walt Disney Company, Skybox International, pop-out cards, one in a, or one in every pack. One in, okay. Okay. These look like they're really old. These could be worth something. Let's see what else we got. We got some Smarties. And we've got an It's a Good Day button. I love mystery bags, but you can see the haul from this mystery bag. Let's look at the adult mystery bag. Let's, let's, let's see what we got here. Adult mystery bag. This is gonna have some adult things in it. Oh look, tells us about the mystery bags. Ah, a Kama Sutra trading card. <coughs> Cause that's always useful. A vibrating cock ring. We did this so the advertisers don't know. Explosive sex candy. Salted caramel flavored lube. We've got, well, a stud, Captain Stud and his semen. That's gonna be the thumbnail. <laughs> Mess hall maneuvers. <coughs> Sex fortune card, the Knight of Flesh Swords. It's like a tarot card for sex. 53 sex positions. This is called the Power Tool. I would call that a pile driver. And we've got, oh, international swimwear. Nine limited edition cards. Ah, it's from by me, from Boca Raton, Florida. I got a button which says drinking squad and what is this crash someone else's party and pretend your friends from years ago that you're surprised the guests don't remember <coughs> get a character if you both together and enjoy street performers nearby hey we're gonna go see some street performers in Fremont Street and that's the end I'll tell you last time I did this I definitely got some anal beads just saying um, but let's see I think I think somewhere there was a Zoltar here, and we should finish with the Zoltar. See what Zoltar says my fortune is. I think this one takes actual money. Zoltar speaks. This is such a fun, quirky little I bar. I am Zoltar, the great gypsy, and I can see And it's literally future. right by the circa. Oh, there's a Zoltar. Your small payment will reap great benefits if you listen to these words of wisdom from the all-knowing Zoltar. The best place to find a helping hand is at the end of your arm. Yes, you must work for happiness. So go on, take your two hands, get some money out of your pocket, and let Zoltar tell you more. I love that it's actually like a legit what Zoltar. What are you waiting for? Come on over. For a small fee. Let's see what Zoltar is going to tell me. My fortune. You tend to look for what you want, but oftentimes not what you need. Instant gratification is tempting, but doesn't always lead to long-term happiness. Try resisting human nature by looking beyond the luster of getting what you want right away. Have the patience to invest in something that you need and will reap long-lasting beliefs. Yes, that's an actual Zoltar. So we've got mystery vending machines we got cheap drinks from four to seven. Uh, I've, got, I've got my uh, my haul over here. From four to seven a.m. and four to seven p.m. Well, that's when you're more likely to do it. Definitely come check this out if you're in the area. There's a giant marquee outside that says uh, that says it's the gold spike. There's literally a giant marquee. I'll show it to you real quick. I don't want to bring my beer outside, even though that's probably not a problem in Vegas. But uh, this is the world famous <laughs> Gold Spike, right by Fremont Street in downtown Las Vegas. If you're in the area, Circus, literally that blue building right over there. You've got Binion's, which was also uh, Biff's Hotel. Um, you've got all that stuff right there. 
Check out the Gold Spike. Open anytime you're in Vegas and happy hour from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. and 4 a.m. to 7 a.m. Highly recommended.